Ladies and gentlemen, please remain standing and welcome Cal State LA student Desiree Gonzalez, who will perform our national anthem accompanied by the Cal State LA Brass Ensemble. members and friends. I'm Dr. Cheryl May, Dean of the Charter College of Education, and I want to welcome you to the CCOE's 2017 Commencement Ceremony. <laughs> Students, over the course of your academic career, our faculty, administration, and staff have shared with you valuable information about the world of education that informs and excites them. They have focused their expertise on your success to prepare you for your career in education, to serve children, youth, and adults in our local communities. Faculty have become your mentors and, for many of you, your colleagues. At this time, I'd like to acknowledge and thank the Chair of the Academic Senate, Dr. Vina Prabhu, the members of the faculty, emeriti faculty and staff rep representing the university's six colleges, the John F. Kennedy Memorial Library, and the university's administration for their contributions in assisting you students to excel and achieve in your goals. Will these members of the university community please stand and be recognized? Let's give them a big hand. Thank you. Now, please join me in welcoming the president of California State University, Los Angeles, Dr. William A. Covino. Thank you, Cheryl. You're welcome. Well, good evening, class of 2017. That's right, that's you. Sounds pretty good, right? This is, a, uh, this is a special year in many ways. You, of course, are making it that much more special, but it is also the 70th anniversary of Cal State LA. So we're looking back on seven decades of student success, and we're looking forward to a future that you will create. All commencements are new beginnings, to, com to commence is to begin anew, and we are beginning anew tonight to ce celebrating your efforts as we move forward. A lot has changed over 70 years. Cal State LA's first graduating class would not recognize student life today. They, re they graduated in 1948, and there were only seven students. Those seven were having difficulties because they couldn't follow their friends on Instagram or Snapchat. 
because Instagram and chat, Snapchat had not been invented yet. Right? And, but more amazing, they didn't even have Facebook or Twitter. Some of you are on social media right now, I can see you. In 1948, there were no smartphones, no iPads, Siri wasn't even born yet. But what amazes me most and really baffles me is how those students managed to write a paper without Wikipedia. Uh, that I can't understand it. They were different times. For 70 years, Cal State LA graduates had gone, have gone on to do amazing things in spite of and because of the times in which they lived. And you will do the same. Your generation will build, imagine, create, design, discover, write, and innovate the next big thing that will change our world. It will be you or that student in your class that will be the source of that future innovation and achievement. The mind that will create the next Google, Facebook, Amazon, Uber, stem cell technology, or write the next Hamilton is going to originate from the class of 2017. Today, <clears throat> you will become a Cal State LA alumnus. <clears throat> you will join the ranks of over 240,000 alumni of Cal State LA and over 3 million alumni of the California State University system. Our trailblazing alumni include tennis legend Billie Jean King. This is the Billie Jean King sports complex that we're in at the moment. Congressional leaders Maxine Waters and Lucille Roybal Allard. Astronaut Samuel T. Durance. International business leader Isaac Larian. The fire chief of the Los Angeles Fire Department, Ralph Terrazas. The director of the John Wayne Airport, Barry Rondanella. Adriana Ocampo of NASA, Danielle Aries with the Los Angeles Clippers, Dr. Sumanta Paul, co-director of the Kidney Cancer Program and Medical Oncology at City of Hope Hospital, members of the family that owns Gavinia Coffee, and members of the family that owns Porto's Bakery. I felt that one coming. These all become your fellow alums. And our alumni are our ambassadors. Through you, the world will see the character, fierce drive, and intellect that define Cal State LA. You will need all that you've learned and experienced to make your way in the world. You're graduating during a time of great uncertainty. For some of you, changes since November have had a very personal impact, and the future seems unclear. But our commitment to you and the students who will follow you is absolutely clear. As you graduate, I will say again what I've communicated since the election last fall. Cal State LA is a richly diverse community that values and supports all students. You are all golden eagles, and you all will soar. You will, I am certain, lead this nation and its students to a bright future. You will use your Cal State LA education, your compassion, and your commitment to education, engagement, service, and the public good, and you will build on the advances of earlier generations. This weekend, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, we saved the best for last. Don't, don't tell the other colleges. What happens in the charter college stays in the charter college. This weekend, over 6,000 students will become graduates of Cal State LA. The class of 2017 includes 119 veterans 
who have served our nation with valor and then returned to earn a degree? Will the veterans who are among our students tonight please rise and let us congratulate you. Thank you, thank you very much for your service. The class of 2017 is the first class to graduate since the university returned to the semester calendar. Good, no response, that's good. That's, I take that as neutral, I think. <clears throat> through this transition, through changes and challenges, you persevered. And of course, you didn't accomplish this important goal for yourself alone or by yourself. You did it for those you love, and their devotion is a big element of your success. And on that note, let me ask the graduates to applaud as we ask the mothers and fathers who are with us tonight to please rise and let us thank you. Let's add the grandmothers and grandfathers. and the aunts and uncles, and the sisters and brothers, the nieces and nephews, the spouses and children, and all the friends of the class of 2017. Thank you, thank you so much for the support and the many ways that you helped make this day possible for your graduate. We all know that Cal State LA is a rich intellectual community. Here you've been supported by a staff that cares deeply about your success and your well-being. You've learned from and been mentored by the best faculty anywhere in a nationally renowned college. Dr. Debbie Covino, the First Lady of Cal State LA, and I have had the pleasure of working with a number of faculty of the Charter College on the university's Mind Matters initiative. Yeah, Mind Matters, Mind Matters supports the inner well-being of our students because inner well-being is a key to academic, professional, and personal success. The initiative has featured wonderful psychological counselors here on campus, speakers, therapy pets, cats and dogs both, you know, uh, student videos, podcasts, and the program has now, over the last three years, reached thousands of students. So many thanks for that success to the charter faculty that have been part of the team moving it forward. And many thanks to Cal State LA's First Lady, Debbie Covino, for conceiving the initiative. Debbie's back there, waving to everybody. The Charter College of Education is the home to 1,700 students today who will become the educators of tomorrow. It's home to the Los Angeles Urban Teacher Residency Program, which is designed to equip math and science teachers to thrive in high need urban schools. And it is home to outstanding students who accept the challenges that come with teaching because they understand the power of education to unlock a child's potential. Berenice Onofre Vasquez knows firsthand the transformative power of education. She grew up on a small farm in central Peru where her family raised chickens, cows, and pigs. The local school ended at third grade, but her parents valued education and made it possible for her to continue. Since then, she has been committed to improving her life and the lives of others. Berenice earned a Bachelor of Science in Nursing 
a Master of Science in Nursing, and a Master of Public Administration, all from Cal State LA. She worked in nursing and nursing administration for about 38 years, but still found time to attend Cal State LA part-time to further her education. Her goal is to help empower English learners and Latino families. Today, Berenice graduates with a Doctor of Education in Educational Leadership. Her success is evidence that learning is a lifelong affair and it is never too late to pursue a degree in higher education. Berenice is 70 years old, our oldest graduate in the class of 2017. And I would add our wisest graduate as well. Congratulations to you. Our university is filled with students like these who have a story to tell about inquiry and discovery and life-changing breakthroughs of setbacks, of struggle, and of success. That is what it means to be a graduate of the premier comprehensive university in Los Angeles. This year, <clears throat> Cal State LA earned nationwide acclaim for its success in propelling graduates into better lives. We are ranked number one in the country for the upward mobility of our students. <clears throat> No other university does a better job of transforming low-income students into high-income earners. And that is great news for graduates and their families. For all the parents out there, you can expect to see a return on your investment. So, class of 2017, as you move forward into the next chapter of your life, Hold fast to the values and principles that brought you to this moment. You are the creators of your destiny. And that realization is the beginning of the best part of the new life you begin today. You have persevered and you have succeeded. Class of 2017, congratulations. Thank you, President Calvino. It's an honor now for me to introduce you to our keynote speaker, Felisa Ortiz Licon. Dr. Ortiz Licon is a board member of the California Department of Education and an alumna of Cal State LA. For nearly 20 years, she has worked in the field of education, predominantly focused on issues of access and equity specifically as they relate to Latino students and English learners. A champion of equitable education and opportunities for all students, Dr. Ortiz Lacan currently serves as the Senior Director of K-16 Education at the National Council of La Raza, the largest civil rights and advocacy organization for Latinos in the United States. She holds a bachelor's degree from UCLA in political science a master's degree from UC Berkeley in city and regional planning, and a doctoral degree in education leadership from the joint program here at Cal State LA and UC Irvine. In 2015, Governor Brown appointed Dr. Ortiz Lacan to the California State Board of Education. She was reappointed in 2016 to serve a four-year term. Dr. Ortiz Lacan resides in the city of Long Beach with her husband, a veteran teacher in the Long Beach Unified School District, and their two young children. Please join me in welcoming Dr. Felice Ortiz Lacan to the podium. Good afternoon, President Covino, Dean A, faculty, staff, families, and graduating class of 2017. As mentioned, my name is Felice Ortiz Licon. And I, too, am a proud graduate of Cal State Los Angeles, class of 2009. Thank you. I am humbled and honored by the opportunity to address you today and to briefly share my life story with you. 
And of course, I lost my place here. <laughs> But first, let me begin by congratulating you, the students, in achieving this educational milestone. Every single one of you traveled a different path, pursued a different timeline, and worked extremely hard to arrive at this very moment. Along the way, you received guidance, mentorship, and support. So to that end, I would also like to acknowledge your village, everyone that is here celebrating you today. Let's give them a hand, please. As mentioned, in 2009, I experienced a mixture of excitement and nervousness that you may be experiencing today. That May afternoon, I sat in the front row, anxiously waiting to be hooded by the chair of my dissertation committee, Dr. Lawson Bush V. My family was beaming with excitement as I became the first in my immediate family to earn a doctorate degree in educational leadership. Today, once again, my family, including my husband and two young children, are sitting in this venue to offer their support and their unconditional love. Thank you, Familia, for always walking next to me. My village has been a constant source of support through the personal, educational, and professional stages of my life. As mentioned one year ago, my family sat in a dim room at the state capitol witnessing my confirmation process to serve on the California State Board of Education as a first Latina board member. Thank you. Being appointed by Governor Brown was not a goal in my professional roadmap. Like many first generation students, I had set safe parameters and limitations on my own dreams. My appointment was certainly a case of luck, the type of luck that happens when preparation meets opportunity. Access to opportunities is, in fact, the starting point of my life story. I was born in 1975 into a life of privileges. I was privileged to be born to two hardworking, humble immigrants who deferred their dreams so that my siblings and I could enjoy opportunities otherwise denied to them in Mexico. I was privileged to be raised in a Spanish-speaking home. The fluent command of Spanish allowed for the preservation of my cultural identity while facilitating the acquisition of English as a second language. I was privileged to be born in the United States. I understood the benefits of this privilege at a very young age because my parents and older siblings lived in constant fear of deportation until the mid or into the early 1980s. I was privileged with educational opportunities that paved the way from Head Start to college and teachers who held high expectations and built upon my assets rather than focus on my deficits as a first generation English learner from a low income family living in the neglected community of West Long Beach. Teachers like Mrs. Gilmore, who set high expectations for my academic performance, even though I was a newly reclassified student in her third grade class. My English teacher, Ms. Greaves, who unveil my writing potential and nurture my love for writing. Writing gave me voice. It gave me an avenue for eloquent communication and expressive and creative expression without the dreaded fear of slip of the accent. Ms. Alcorn, who mentored my siblings and I through the college application process. Dr. Solorsano, who fed my critical consciousness. And Dr. Lawson Bush V, who cared about me as a person and invested numerous months and hours providing timely and in-depth feedback on my dissertation. That is the power of an educator. That is the power you hold. Throughout the course of your studies here at Cal State LA, the notion of social justice has been emphasized, the importance of equity reinforced, and the principles of cultural competence have threaded your coursework. You are ready for the challenges and opportunities that are offered by the field of urban education. And by no means do I seek to simplify the challenges encountered at the district or school site level. My husband, Roberto, has taught and served the Long Beach Unified School District for 20 years in the classroom. I know the demanding nature of the field. The school system is under complete transformation. We have new rigorous standards, new assessments, a new funding formula, the local control accountability template, a new accountability system, and the new federal law known as Every Student Succeeds Act, 
ESSA, which will soon go into effect. And those are the changes happening within the system. But we also know that our students' lived experiences are grounded in a larger societal context. James Baldwin reminds us that, quote, the paradox of education is precisely this, that as one begins to become conscious, one begins to examine the society in which he or she is being educated. When we examine our society, we recognize the threat to the emotional and social stability of our schools under this current Trump administration. This president and this administration have created a rhetoric and implemented policies that impact our students and their families directly. Our undocumented students and their families are reporting unprecedented rates of anxiety and stress as the threat of deportation looms. Our black students, Muslim students, Jewish students, LGBTQ, poor and first generation students are targets of hate speech, discriminatory practices, and regressive policies. Our students are simply trying to set goals and envision a tomorrow that is fogged by people and policymakers with no sensitivity or understanding of our student populations, our histories, and our, our contributions to this great country. Thank you. In recent months, I've heard people use the phrase, this too shall pass, as an optimistic message to comfort each other. However, I have also heard a resounding call for action, a message of urgency that reminds us that we are, in fact, the ones that we have been waiting for. Fellow educators, you stand in the front lines of this work. In your capacity, you have been tasked with providing a quality education that will help students overcome staggering odds and reverse the out uh, the downward academic trends that are characterized by widening achievement gaps, increasing poverty rates, and the mass incarceration of our boys of color. You are critical educators, and you know the importance of setting high expectations for all students, affirming their assets by moving away from subtractive schooling practices, fostering a culture of care, and narrowing the belief gap by asserting that poor students can learn, students of color can achieve, English learners can overcome, and students with disabilities can persist. Thank you. We know this to be true because many of us reflect the demographics of the students attending our schools and sitting in our classrooms. We share their demographic profile, their cultural background, their language, and urban experiences. Your experience in the School of Education, learning from high-caliber professors, engaging in rich and thought-provoking discussions with peers, and serving high needs, highly talented and promising students has equipped you with an understanding of our students' needs and their abilities. I believe that my story is a testament for the transformative power of public education, a tribute to the sacrifice and dreams of my family, and a validation to the promise held by a tolerant and inclusive America. My story, however, is not unique. My gifts and talents are not exceptional. I am that little girl sitting in a classroom reading one benchmark below grade level. I am sitting in the cafeteria enjoying my free school lunch. I am walking past blighted buildings, dirty streets, and numerous liquor stores with the total lack of awareness that somewhere else people live in safe and clean communities. I am home praying that my parents are not detained by eyes. I am waiting for my teacher to believe in me. We were them and they will be us. You are already on the path where your passion meets your purpose. Never doubt the power that you hold to change the life outcome of a student. As a fellow Golden Eagle, a mother, a first generation student, an educator and a policymaker, I thank you for your service and dedication to the field of education. Today, you leave this premier institution with the skills, knowledge, and mindset needed to shape the educational experience of millions of students throughout the state of California and beyond. And make no mistake, this is no small task to accomplish. But from my vantage point, I can see that you are no small force to be reckoned with. So go forth and serve. Congratulations, class of 2017.
Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Ortiz Lacone, for those stirring words. And now we turn our attention to the soon to be graduates. <laughs> Among the students earning baccalaureate degrees, there are those who will graduate with academic honors. Dr. Diane Fozzi, Associate Dean of the Charter College of Education, will acknowledge these students. Dr. Fozzi. The university grants the baccalaureate degree with Latin designation summa cum laude, magna cum laude, or cum laude to students who have completed at least 45 units in residence and attained a grade point average that ranks them within the top 10% of their college. These students wear gold braids draped on their black gowns to mark their outstanding academic accomplishments. Will the candidates for graduation with honors please rise and be recognized? Please be seated. Now it is my pleasure to introduce the Chief Academic Officer of the University, Dr. Lynn Mahoney, Provost and Vice President for Academic Affairs. Dr. Mahoney. Good afternoon. President Covino, I present to you the candidates for degrees in the Charter College of Education. They have met all of the requirements for their respective degrees and are recommended by the university faculty who taught them. And now the, the candidates for the Doctor of Education degree in Educational Leadership will now be hooded and then presented on stage. Doctor of Education, Educational Leadership. Salina Cristina Barajas Ledesma. Lourdes Ramirez Ortiz. Berenice Regina Onfari Vasquez. Valerie Sun. Jenny Erica Marlene Barco Quiñones. Aaron Elizabeth Weeby.
Hassan Durnai. Julio Cesar Hernandez. Socorro Orozco. Rafael Ventura. Doctor of Philosophy, Special Education. Fahad Mohammed Almeri. Faisal Mohammed Almeri. Kate Elizabeth Rydell. There we go, there we go. And now the recipients for the Master of Arts and Master of Science from the Charter College of Education will now be hooded and then presented on stage. Master of Arts in Teaching English to Speakers of Other Languages. Pablo Garcia. Ana Herrera. Master of Arts in Education. Andreas Garbatos. Hannah Bosinger. Wendy Paula Godoy. Jessica Gutierrez. Noeli Chavez.
Jacqueline Ramírez. Calvin Lee. Philip Gregory Ryoji Nakama. Sarah Christine Diaz. Jessica Y. Wong. Lobet Ramirez Moreno. Navia Itzia Ramirez. Sivan Levithan. Thank you. Ronald James Jubla. Ibrahim Hamid Hararthi. Frederick Alahar Twazan. David Edward Rennie. Arlene Nieto. Mercy Placencia. Brenda Asensio. Karina Asegueda. Janet Torcuato Lima Silvers. Annette Michelle Gregra. Bruce Verona. Connie Velez. Angela M. Buchanan. Justin Roan. Richie Van Dang. Sergio Miguel Rivera Jr. Maria Fernanda Pozo. Dina Elgatani. Diana Hernandez Garcia.
Brittany Danielle Beck. Michelle Andrade. Maritza Montoya. Vanessa Noeli Gonzalez. Young Kim. Dominic David Armendariz. Elizabeth Edith Aguilar Rios. Bradley Lindsay Baldwin. Master of Arts in Special Education. Farah Seng. Priscilla Marie Avila. Anaite Lopez. Rebecca Jean Koenig. Daisy Laura. Sonia Betancourt. Brian Matisse Pellegrino. Stacy Alexandria Olivas. Maria Quinteros. Christine Murata. Nayali Guadalupe Garcia Lopez. Thank you. Barkowitz? Carly Barkowitz. Fabiola Maria Ramirez. Connie Murray Hernandez. Leticia Estrada. Gabriel John Horton. Natalie Archeveria. Diana Herrera. Rebecca Barras. Jessica Ella Valdez. Grant Frederick Rowe. Alisa Ann Mullen. Jessica Wanda Kaplan. Lindsay McNeil. Gina Ann Brown. Michael Serrato. 
Eliza Stephanie Roder. Raúl Bautista Bravo. Darnisha Williams. Nancy Karina Castillo. Zanel Ada Calhoun. Ronjay Malika Harge. Maria de Los Angeles Santa Maria. Rocío Hernández. Lizette Lovano. Lucía Montenegro. Alejandro Quirante. Eric Michael Lee. Alonzo Esparta Navarez. Alejandro Mendoza. Victor Manuel Ledesma Jr. Anthony John Fuad. Evangelina Herrera. Monique Desiree Pocasangre. Luis Enrique Covarrubias. Danielle Renee Williams. Elizabeth Rangel Salazar. Ileana Hill Maciel. Paulina Rodriguez. Amanda Marie Mendez. Lisbeth Adame. Luis Miguel Iglesias. Brenda Leticia Alvarado. Maria del Carmen Rodriguez. Alma Yesenia Menroy. Rosario Yareni Gomez. Tony Rochelle Burdick. Alexandra Francesca Barragan Avelar. Gabriela Moreno. Jennifer Flores. Jessica Marilyn Castillo. Samantha Amanda Ross. James Alexander Green II. Morgan Elizabeth Abraham. Francisco Javier Hernandez. Annie Chavez. Kimberly Chang. Viviana Yvette Hoyos. Nailicia Rihanna Jones. Gianna Lucia Persico. Cheryl Joy Grosscroft. Gabrielle Rose Carrasco. Lucia Lomeli. Laura Irene Vidal. Berenice Aceves.
Sofia Chung. Rosie Catalina Perez. Mary Chris Lasso Felkulan. Elizabeth Wong. Jane Schell. Ho Kong Ken. Reina Antoinette Ward. Annette Reyes. Kelly Elizabeth Smiland. Kenneth Michael Woolsey. Hernan Garcia Jr. Veronica Garcia Gonzalez. Gina Marie Bush. Rubicelli Lomeli. Samantha Kathleen Marie Dominguez. Yesenia Reyes. Natalie Margaret Lyles. Nigel Armani Flores. Michelle Christina Carti. Raquel Chavaria. Ranjit Singh Kanwar. Kareen April Padilla. Cindy Maribel Erazo Hernandez. Natalie Surich. Michelle Robles. Jasmine Marie Batchelder. All right, well, on behalf of the CCOE faculty, we offer congratulations to all you graduates out there. It's test and turning time. Okay. Oh, sorry, I've oh, got it? There it is. All right. The Traditional moving of the tassel is a special moment in the commencement ceremony. After all degrees have been conferred, President Covino will lead the candidates in the moving of the tassel. The candidates for the baccalaureate degrees have been presented, will now be presented on stage. Bachelor of Arts, Urban Learning. Diana Milan Valteria. Brent Lee Grossman. Flor Funes. Sarah Ann Chavez. Marisabel Cortez Garcia. Erica Beatriz Cardona. Arlene Isabella Rodriguez.
Yvette Jacqueline Aquino. Bachelor of Science Rehabilitation Services. Alyssa Ariel Chacon. Catherine De La Cruz. Jessica Mejia. Jose Ramon Gonzalez. Leticia Lopez. Evelia Robles. Anna Juliet Cruz. Simone Alicia Bent. Yvette Denise Ingram. Tatiana Antoinette Lee Burns. Bria Nicole Gaines. Jalen Jordan. Orelaya Reyes. Juana Aguirre. Yasmin Ramirez. Julianne Marie Gutierrez. George David Ramirez. Melissa Alexandra Garcia. Karina Rodriguez. Roberto Morales. Myra Yuri Martinez. Guadalupe Sanchez. Jonathan Andrew Alvarez. Milton Ismael Toscano Jr. Jennifer Echevilla. Elizabeth Guizar. Jessica Cardenas. Maria Bueno. Melvin Manuel Gonzalez. Jessica Clarissa Nunez. Sammy Alba. Ashley Macias. Maria Antoinette Garay. Vanessa Lisette Morales. Alexis Israel Adame. Lisa Zambrano. Esmeralda Gonzalez. Ivan Medina. Anna Karen Cabrera Avila. Mariela de Jesus Esquivel Anguiano. Kelly Martinez. Diana Stephanie Gomez. Kelly Martinez. Janet V. Hernandez. Graciela Esmeralda Solano. Mireya Nunez Perez. Laura Maria Carillo. Alexis Christine McCowan. Adrian Gomez. Tashibia Michelle Guyton. Anne Ha. Claudia Alvarez. 
Monique Salinas. Tania Mendez. Alexander Coyconche. Brenda Carolina Martinez Leiva. Amara Feliz Torres. Cristal Murillo. Alejandra Margarita Muñoz Saray. Diana Michelle Sanchez. Cristina Bulanos. Jessica A. Tapia. Raul Chavez Jr. Amy Hong. Tanya Stephanie Gonzalez. Alexandria Marie Gonzalez. And Stephanie Mendoza. Now it's me. There you are. All right. <laughs> All right, we've had a nice, uh, a nice greeting on stage, but I've really not yet conferred your degrees. So I think I should get around to that. Will the candidates for doctoral degrees please rise for the conferral of your degrees? Doctoral degrees. By the authority vested in me by the state of California and by the trustees of the California State University, I hereby confer upon you the doctoral degree for which you qualify with all the rights, privileges, and honors pertaining thereto. Congratulations. And as the new doctors sit down, we're going to ask the candidates for master's degrees to rise. All right, master's candidates. By the authority vested in me by the state of California and by the trustees of the California State University, I hereby confer upon you the master's degree for which you qualify with all the rights, privileges, and honors pertaining. Congratulations. And as the new master's students sit down, the baccalaureate candidates please rise. All right. By the authority vested in me by the state of California and by the trustees of the California State University, I hereby confer upon you the baccalaureate degree for which you qualify with all the rights, privileges, and honors pertaining thereto. Now, move the tassel from the right to the left. That's right. Okay. Let's have the whole class of 2017, please rise. Class of 2017. You are now all proud alumni of Cal State LA. Congratulations, class of 2017.
great. On behalf of the CCOE, I would like to sincerely thank all of the university staff, faculty, students, and volunteers invo involved in organizing the 2017 commencement ceremony and acknowledge the members of the Honors Convocation and Commencement Advisory Committee. Let's thank all of those who put together this wonderful event. Okay, one more thing. At this time, the university hymn will be performed by Cal State LA student Carolyn Halpin, who will be accompanied by the Cal State LA Brass Ensemble. The lyrics can be found inside your program.
La orquesta venga ha llegado para el ambiente alegrar. Si permaneces sentado, seguro vas a explotar. ¡Hey! Levántate. 